there, Jen with Revzilla, and today we're gonna to take a closer look at the Sidiji Mugello Women's Riding Gloves, available at revzilla.com. All right, so on my hand today, I have the Sidiji Mugello Women's Riding Gloves. Now, Sidiji is an exclusive brand to Revzilla, and this is their take on a sports-styled mid-length cuff glove that has a lot of perforation worked into it, really good for your summer riding months. Pricing in around $70. Now, some notes about sizing. I normally wear a size extra small glove when I'm riding, and this is what I have on my hand today. This is a size extra small. The fit's really good. It's just slightly long in the fingers, but overall it is a good fit. So our recommendation is go ahead and order the size you normally would wear. Now, do keep in mind our price match policy is in place to guarantee you the lowest price available. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the features of this glove. We're gonna start here at the entry point. So on the Velcro here, this is a normal tab Velcro system. What I want to point out is in this gusset here, I really like this uh, stretchy satin material that Sidichi has chosen to use. A lot of gloves will use a leather and it'll bunch up and get really uncomfortable in here. Or there's no material at all and you get some rubbing from this piping. So nice touch here with that satin stretch material. Moving on to the front of the glove. You can see this is a full goatskin leather construction with a ton of perforation worked throughout. Again, this is for your summertime riding to get that maximum airflow. On the top of the hand, there is a foam pad here for your comfort. And this knuckle is what we call a floating knuckle design. So there's a little gap here, and that's to help with the mobility of the glove. Now, when it comes to actual knuckle protector, this is a dual density TPU. You can see the difference in the material with this matte finish and then the shiny bits on top. Now, the matte finish has a a lot of flex and give that you can see here as I'm squeezing it. And what that means is the glove is, uh, it already feels broken in as soon as you take it out of the package. It has nice flex and feel to it. And then these shinier bits are the harder TPU. So in the event of a crash or a slide, that's what's gonna come into play on that knuckle protector. You'll also notice a couple extra ventilating air ports here to keep the air moving throughout the glove. So moving down the fingers, you're gonna see more of that perforation happening. Uh, the perforation is not only on top of the finger, but also in between in the forchettes of the glove. Uh, some accordion stretch panel here to help with the flex and give of the fingers. Now you'll notice on the fourth and fifth finger here, there is what we call a bridge or a leather piece here that connects these two fingers together. And there's really two schools of thought on how a uh, glove design should be. Now some people feel if you put this bridge protector here, you're gonna help save your pinky in the event of a crash. Now other people are argue when you connect them both together, you're actually putting your ring finger at risk along with your pinky in the event of a crash. There's not conclusive data anywhere, and this is totally a rider preference thing. So if, if you're a fan of this bridge, then go ahead and order these gloves with confidence. If you're not so sure about that, there's other gloves in the Sidichi line that do not use that feature. So coming into the palm portion of the glove, this glove is touch tech capable. I, however, found that it worked differently among all my different devices. Um, there's other gloves out there that do a little bit better with this touch tech capability. And one thing I wanna point out is this exterior seam this glove utilizes might be hindering that touch tech capability, something to think about. But for me, the exterior seam is totally worth it. It's one of my favorite things when I see in a glove, this exterior seam. It just means there's no extra material on the inside of the glove rubbing against your fingers and causing discomfort during the ride. Uh, coming into the upper portion of the palm, there is this reinforcement panel here with a silicone grip material. So that's good for keeping a good grip on the handlebars. And of course, this double layer is in a strategic place in that high wear area of the glove. Moving into the heel of the palm, there is a TPU slider. So we, in the event of a crash, it has a little bit more slide and give than a traditional leather. And of course, it's there for impact protection. Coming onto the outer seam of the glove, there is a nice reinforcement panel here. Um, this is a vulnerable part of the glove, so it's always good to see manufacturers double up and keep it extra protected. And so there you have it. That is the long and short of the Sidichi Mugello Women's Riding Glove. Again, this is kind of a sport-oriented glove with a lot of perforations, good for summertime riding. Now, if you have more questions about the Mugello Glove, go ahead and hit the info button on your desktop or mobile device. It'll redirect you to our product page where you can see more product features and read reviews from riders like yourself. If you have even more questions, give one of our Women Gear Geeks a call at 877-792-9455 or email us cs at revzilla.com. All right, well, thanks for hanging out as we take a closer look at the Sidichi G. Mugello Women's Riding Gloves. I'm Jenna Revzilla. Keep it on to you.